Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Today I wanted to share some of the random items that I picked up within the last couple of weeks. And when I say random, I mean random. We're talking from luxury goods to sticky notes, and you know me, when I really like something, I like to shout it from the rooftops. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? All right, so I thought I would begin with the item that I've talked about most recently on Instagram, the item that I feel most people are here to check out, and I don't wanna keep you guys waiting. I will also be putting a timestamp on the description box below if you wanna bypass this and go on to the next, because I did wanna spend a little bit of time on it, but I did end up adding a handbag to my collection. And if you watch my recent MMQA, a lot of you already know what it is, but I finally decided on a color. And the newest handbag to my collection is the beautiful Louis Vuitton Multi Pochette in the color khaki. Absolutely no regrets about choosing the khaki because I had put myself on the list for the green and the pink and uh, I got a phone call for both and I felt like I couldn't decide between the two. I kept going back and forth for what seemed like an eternity because when this bag first launched, I was all about the green. You know, I was like, oh, I like the green, I like the green or the khaki, what have you. I was like, I think it's beautiful. But then I was like, you know what? I am very much a pink girl. That's the color that I always end up gravitating towards. I guess some people might even consider it my safe color. So I was like, oh, which one should I do? Should I do this one? Should I do that one? So of course I decided to go for the one that made my heart sing the loudest. And that was definitely the khaki. I absolutely love this color. And when I first, when I first came out or when I first saw pictures of it, um, I thought it was going to have a little bit more of a browner tint to it, but I'm really happy that it's this really beautiful dark green because in some lighting it almost looks black but I think it is gorgeous and trust me that pink is beautiful as well but this one just definitely spoke to me a lot a lot louder and there's actually a few different reasons why I also went for uh, for the green besides the fact that it made my heart sing another reason is because I really appreciated the fact that this one doesn't have a contrasting color the pink does have that beautiful almost like a golden sheen to it, which I think makes for a fabulous combination, especially when it comes to the monogram canvas and the gold hardware. But I like the fact that this one didn't have that contrasting color and it was a little bit more incognito, if you will. So I thought that was wonderful. And another reason why I went for it is because I feel like this really ends up going the best with my type of wardrobe. I do wear a lot of dark colored clothing and I thought that with the pink one, I would end up getting color transfer like that. I would end up getting that thing so dirty, so so quickly that I felt that the green would would end up uh, hiding those beauty marks a lot um, a lot better you know what I mean but um, no regrets no regrets whatsoever because I think it is beautiful and I also think that this makes for a fabulous combination with the brown and the gold hardware initially I didn't think I would end up going for this piece because I pretty much have the three items that this bag is made up of the round coin purse the mini pochette and the pochette accessoire so I was like I don't know if I'm gonna move forward or not and then I started to see that there were more details that were incorporated into the set that I absolutely loved. And to be completely honest with you, what I love the most about the multi pochette is that I feel like the possibilities are endless on how you can incorporate it into your lifestyle. You can either wear them together or you can deconstruct it completely and use this small leather good with this handbag, use this small leather good with that handbag. And that's what I kept raving about in that previous Minx Monday that I was like, oh, I was such a fan that they decided to add all, the, all of these pieces that you can completely just take apart and use it in different ways, you know? And I am all about versatility. So I thought that was amazing. Plus, a lot of these pieces are a lot larger than the originals and they have a few details that the other ones don't. So that's what I kind of wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of, uh, of the originals with the pieces that make up the multi pochette just to give you a better visual. So as far as the round coin purse goes, this is the original and this is the one that comes on the multi pochette. Uh, as you can see, it does have a little uh, D-ring up there and it is a little bit larger. It is a little bit thicker, especially down at the bottom. And what I really like about the multi pochette one is that it has the smaller monogram on the back side so you have the regular and then you have the smaller one uh, back here so I thought that was pretty cute and uh, it also has a lighter colored interior than uh, than the original so with this one you will definitely be able to see that coin residue a lot easier but I also feel that it's a little bit more generous just because you have these guys on the side versus this one that has the brown interior that again uh, ends up hiding that coin residue uh, a lot easier but it opens up like so but this one check it out it opens up a lot wider than uh, than the other one 
uh, but I think this is so incredibly cute. You can end up using this on your Neverfull, attach it to any D-ring that you have, or it doesn't even have to be a Louis Vuitton bag. You can just end up mixing and matching fashion houses as well. All right, now for the next one that is essentially the mini pochette. This is the original, and this is the one that comes in the multi pochette. And as you can see, it is a lot larger. They're pretty much the same width, uh, but this one has the leather tab on the front, and this one has the tab on the side. Now, with the regular multi pochette, you can't remove uh, this, the little gold chain. You can end up using it as a wristlet, and you can just move the D ring from one side to the other. But on this one, you can remove remove this chain completely. So the fact that you can also incorporate this into another handbag or use it with another small leather good, I think is really, really nice. Uh, and not only that, remember how I showed you guys the smaller monogram on the back side of the round coin purse? Well, on the pouches, you actually have it on the bottom right here. And so you have the regular monogram on the front and on the back side, and you just have that smaller monogram on the sides. So I thought that was a really nice detail to it. Now, as far as the pochette accessoire, here they are side by side. As you can see, this guy is a lot larger. It's also a little bit taller. However, it's not as, uh, it's not as wide as the pochette accessoire. So you do have a little bit more give on this one uh, but again kind of like what I mentioned with the smaller pouch you do have the smaller monogram along the bottom there and this one of course doesn't come with a strap but it does have the um, it does have a little slip pocket right in there now as far as the strap goes it is very comfortable it doesn't dig into my skin it does stay in place I love the fact that it is adjustable and I have it almost at the end of the adjustment just because I really like the placement on my torso it's not as high up and uh, you know when I first put this on and I had the round coin purse on here I wasn't too fond of the round coin purse up here either uh, just because I felt like where it landed on me, it was like right in between my chest and it kind of looked like a third boob, all right? I know that that's not the glassiest way to put it, but that's the best way that I can explain it. So I had the, the round coin purse right here and it kept moving back and forth, back and forth. It was like, duh, 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 duh. I'm like, I, you know what? I don't think it looks, I don't think it looks very good. I don't think I'm doing it justice. I see it on other people and it looks fantastic. But then on me, I was like, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. So I think on this D-ring, I might end up putting, um, I don't know, I might end up putting a lock on there or something to give it a little bit more personality. But as far as using the round coin purse on here, I don't think so. I also thought about using the push up Matisse strap with the largest pouch because I think these two together would look fabulous, especially because this one does have more adjustments. So that way, if I wanted the bag to be lower on my torso, I have that option. So I think that's great. Now, I also wanted to let you know, this might surprise some of you, although I have a feeling that some of you will be like, oh, it totally seems like something that you would do. Um, but I don't really foresee myself using all three pieces at the same time. Just because I did use it that way a couple of times, I did find it to be a little too busy just because you do have so many zippers and you have so many different pockets. But I personally like this set separately. I like being able to use either uh, this small leather good with that handbag or maybe even using two pieces at the same time, but not three. I know some of you are probably thinking like, well, then why would you get it? Because those same details that I talked about earlier really set them apart from the originals, you know, at least in my eyes. Call me crazy. Call me what you will, you know, but um, yeah, together, it's not really my jam. Separately, absolutely, positively, love, love, love being able to have them that way instead of necessarily having them together, you know? So <laughs> I know some, I know Louis Vuitton is probably like, no, that's not the plan. Well, sorry, LV, because that's the way that I intend to use this set. Again, I might change my mind. I might be eating my words, you know, a month later or two months later, and I might end up rocking them together. I don't think so. Of course, never say never. I feel like I always have to say never say never because I, I have had some people say, Minnie, you said that you would never do it. I know, but I changed my mind. What can I say? I am human at the end of the day, you know? But um, anywho, I digress. <laughs> I digress. I got, I got a little bit carried away there. But I do love this set, and I think it looks so incredibly beautiful whenever I see people wearing it with all three pieces together. But just for me personally, 
I, um, I really like to have them separate or just make some of these pieces handbags themselves. And as you guys know, versatility is something that I always talk about on my channel. It's something that I definitely appreciate when it comes to luxury goods, you know, especially because it gets that cost per wear down even lower, you know? So I am a big, big fan. And before I talk your ear off of this multi pochette, let me also incorporate a mod shot of what it looks like on my body frame. For reference, I am five foot five and I will also include a shot of it with uh, with just the larger pouch and this guy so that way if you have this strap it gives you another way of being able to incorporate it into your wardrobe all right moving on to the next item so last week we were in san francisco and i did have a few things that i had to take care of but of course i made some time to visit goyard now as many of you know i have had a goyard handbag on my wish list for quite some time i go back and forth all the time i add it to the wish list i take it off i put it back on i take it back off so i decided that instead of going for a handbag i would end up getting my feet wet by going for a small leather good and to be honest i really do like to start off with small leather goods when it comes to a new fashion house because I think that I get a better feel for the brand I get a better feel for the quality just because with small leather goods you're able to I mean you interact with them a lot more than you do a handbag so I decided to go for their card holder and I went for the color Bordeaux I mean they had so many colors to choose from you can either go for the gray white uh, they have yellow green red and of course the Bordeaux and out of all of them I felt like this one just spoke to me the loudest because I think that this would make a really nice combination with most of the handbags that I have within my collection with most of the other small other goods that I have within my collection so I fell head over heels in love with it and uh, I just think that this color is perfect especially for fall uh, but I also like the fact that you do have a total of four credit card slots you have two on the front two on the back and you also have this guy at the very top and uh, usually when it comes to flat card holders I can appreciate the ones that do have uh, just a total of two credit card slots or three total um three total uh, slots, if you will. But when it comes to the four or five, I just feel that if I'm going from a larger wallet into something like this, I can end up adding more of my daily wallet essentials instead of necessarily having to sacrifice not carrying this or not carrying that or having to carry it in a different small leather good. So I really like uh, the way that this is set up. I absolutely love the color. And um, I also like these little details. When I was talking to the, uh, to the manager there, she told me so much more information about the brand that I had no idea about. She really took her time. She was so incredibly sweet. If you guys are ever in San Francisco and if you find yourself in Goyard, definitely end up asking for Tatiana. She is amazing. She gave me a rundown of the history. She gave me a rundown of this, that, or the other. And I mean, she was just awesome. Um, but like I said before, initially, I mean, initially I was going to go for a handbag and I did see a few of them there. I, get, I did get to try them on, uh, but I was still very unsure. But when it came to this one, I was like, for sure, you know, there was no doubt in my mind, but I think that this color is gorgeous and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it ends up wearing because uh, she's, she had mentioned that this does have the silk screening de uh, design to it. So I'm wondering how that will end up wearing as time goes by, you know, especially because usually with my wallets, I do tend to be a little bit harder on them. So I wonder if it'll end up rubbing off a little bit quicker or if um, it'll end up getting color transfer from some of my handbags because you do have the lighter, uh, almost like the, the off-white uh, within, uh, within that design there. So uh, we'll see, but I am super, super excited about it. I will put uh, the information on the description box below. If I like Goyard before, I absolutely love Goyard now. I am still very much so undecided on a handbag because like I said, this guy, uh, if I end up falling in love with the way that it ends up wearing, then I definitely end up seeing myself adding a handbag to my collection from this fashion house. Um, but um, they have so many to choose from. They had this beautiful like hat box and I mean, it was stunning. She said that it takes, uh, the per one person makes the bag. It takes them eight months to make it. It is handmade and it had a hefty, a hefty price tag. I think it was like 6,500. Yeah, <laughs> that's a little high, but anywho. So I am super, super happy that I was able to add this Goyard uh, card holder into my collection.
Keeping up with the randomness, I also picked up a pair of pants from Old Navy that I absolutely love. These are so, so far out of my comfort zone, but uh, there was just something about them. I tried them on and they were crazy, crazy comfortable. But I am talking about these pants right here. They are called uh, the Stevie, uh, the Stevie pants from Old Navy, and they are insanely, insanely comfortable. They are that stretchy material because I like a stretchy pants. Um, I don't really, I don't really do pants that are so restricting because I feel like it takes forever to put them on. I lay on the bed, I'm like, <clears throat> put them on type of thing. I like it when I have a, when it has a little bit of give, all right? I need a little bit of give. It makes me feel that much more comfortable. But it does have, uh, it has these cute little pockets. Um, I don't even know if they are fully, oh, they are fully functioning pockets. Usually these things have the faux pockets, which I hate because sometimes I go to put my phone in there and I'm, I feel like I'm messing with the pocket forever. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but anyways, I just really like this pattern. They had a few to choose from. Uh, they end up, I think they were $39.99. Like I said, super, super comfortable. I see myself wearing these with my Ronald McDonald, AKA my Gucci Princeton loafers in red because I think that the combination would be fabulous. And again, these are so far out of my comfort zone, but I just, I think that they're cute. And with like, uh, you know, with a black long sleeve uh, top, I thought that these would be fantastic. So I am definitely feeling these. And I think I might go back for a different pattern. Like I said, they had a few to choose from. They have some solid colors. Uh, they also have a few uh, plaids and they have this really nice um, like taupe plaid that I think is awesome. But these Stevie pants, crazy, crazy, crazy comfortable. I haven't worn them yet because it's still hotter than Hades where I live. Um, and it, it seems like fall was here for a hot second and then poof, it's gone. We're back to summer type of thing. Anywho, I, I digress, but the Stevie pants from Old Navy are wonderful and hopefully they're still on sale. I will put all of the information on the description box below. Since I talked about using these pants with my Princeton loafers, I thought I would share what they look like. What do you think? I also wanted to try it out with the pink just to see. I mean, it's not bad. It's not my favorite. The red definitely, definitely looks better in my opinion, especially with like uh, one of my classic flaps. So that way the shoes are the pop of color. What do you think? I think these look great, but I think these would look cute maybe with like my Poland bag. Um, but this one, I still keep going back to the red. So super, super comfortable and yes, for the stretch. All right, moving on to two items that might surprise some of you, but uh, when I saw them, I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Uh, but the first one is a backpack, and I don't know if you guys have heard me talk about the brand Super Dry. It's actually one of my husband's favorite brands. I have a few t-shirts from them, and I really like them, but uh, they did have like a semi-sale or a sale going on, and I found a backpack there that is so obnoxious that I absolutely fell in love with it. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? Check this out. It is so incredibly bright. I love it. And I got it on sale. It normally retails for 49 bucks. They had it on, um, they had it on, the sticker price on there said 19. It was lower down to 19. And when the gentleman scanned it, it came out to $14.98. Oh yeah, I majorly scored on this, but I'm sure a lot of people are like, what are you talking about backpacks? I do have quite a few backpacks that I end up using in other aspects of my life, uh, but the fact that this one is so obnoxious and the fact that it has the black and the white, I could not deny it. It's super comfortable as well, you know, and um, yeah. I really, I really, really like it. And sometimes I do like to use a backpack as a carry-on instead of using a keep ball or using any other type of luxury good, especially if I don't want to attract any type of attention when it comes to those luxury goods. Of course, this hot pink will end up attracting quite a few eyeballs, but that's okay. But it says super dry Paris and super dry outdoor originals on the top there. A very nice, uh, a very nice zipper and there is the back side. So it's really, really comfortable. And again, the fact that I was able to snag it for 15 bucks, I was all about it. I also ended up picking up a cosmetic case from there and it wasn't on sale, but it was 20 bucks, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Check it out. I don't even think that the camera is gonna be able to do it justice. So you have super dry on the front, but you have this beautiful Aurora Borealis mermaid type of color to it. It is quite large. It has that awesome zipper, you know, and can you imagine how many lip 
products I can end up fitting in here. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. But I think this thing is super, super cute. They had a few other, they had like a passport uh, passport holder. They had a few other items with the same type of um, effect to it. But uh, I love Super Dry. They have so many beautiful items, whether it's their whether it's their clothing or whether they have a few other accessories. Definitely check them out. Um, I, I'm a huge fan, and of course, uh, the hubby is a I mean, is an even bigger fan of that brand. Um, all right, moving on to the last item that I want to share with you. This totally brought me back to when I was like 10 or 12 and it was just sweet, sweet nostalgia. If you guys uh, follow me on Instagram, a lot of you already saw it. When I was up in San Francisco, I went into World Market and I, I, had, I had heard about them previously, but I completely forgot about them. So once I walked into the store, I was like, oh my gosh, there they are. But I picked up these guys from Sanrio, the Hello Kitty collection. And I am a huge, huge Hello Kitty fan. I always have been. Like I said before, it brought me back to when I was 10 or 12. And any time I ended up getting an allowance, I would save up as much as I could so I can go into Sanrio Surprises and end up getting just some like random notepad or pencils. And they were always like pricey, right? I remember them being like pretty, <laughs> pretty expensive for, I mean, I was a kid, but I thought these were so cute. They have a ton of different items. They have like, uh, they have a uh, little, uh, what's it called? They have little totes, they have um, banks, they have a bunch of other like notepad, mugs, sunglasses, pins, keychains, you name it. They have so many different things. And I mean, I just thought this was so cute. So I am looking forward to using these sticky notes with my Louis Vuitton agenda. But look at how cute. Oh, I love it. And of course you have Cropey on the front. Uh, the other one, what was the duck? Peckle, right? Peckle was his name. I always thought that Cropey, wasn't it Caro, Caro, Cropey or just one Caro? Caro Cropey. I think someone on Instagram said it's one Caro Cropey. Either way, let me know in the comment section down below. This video is literally all over the place, but uh, the sticky notes were $9.99, and then I also got um, this uh, like grocery looking list, and this was $4.99, but then you have Hello Kitty down here at the bottom. But I think, I mean, I think these things are so cute, and like I said, the fact that they just brought me back a ton of memories, I was, um, I was all about it. I still have like a little, um, like a little tin case. It's almost like a like a lunch like a lunch pail uh, that has Hello Kitty in the red, and I have that full of Sanrio surprises um, stuff from Hello Kitty, from Cropey and Peckle and what have you. Anyways, I am totally talking your guys' ear off, but if you love Hello Kitty, if you love any of these characters, definitely check out World Market. Um, I don't think they were on sale when I was there, but the girl said that they would be going on sale uh, shortly and uh, they were limited, uh, they were gonna be available a limited time. So definitely check them out if you uh, are a fan of these. So that does it for my random video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I know it was a little all over the place. It was very chatty. I was a very chatty Kathy today. Uh, but sometimes I like to just sit down and not really have a plan of what, you know, what I'm gonna talk about. Um, I don't know, it feels very one-on-one. -on -one. What do you think? <laughs> but anywho, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And again, I will make sure and put all of the information, as much information as I possibly can, on the description box below if you guys are looking to add any of these pieces to your wardrobe, to your collection, or what have you. But again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not, the choice is yours. Have a great day.